Washington, it's been 10 years since the F-117 Nighthawk retired, an aircraft so secret Nevada folklore labeled it a UFO. The Nighthawk pilots were known by the call sign Bandit, each earning their number with their first solo flight. Some of the maintainers were also given a call sign, said Wayne Paddock, a former F-117 maintainer currently stationed at Holloman Air Force Base, New Mexico. The people who maintained the coatings on the aircraft, radar absorbent material, were classified as material application and repair specialists, Mars. Mars morphed into Martians, Paddock said Mars was a shred out from the structural repair slash corrosion control career field. The technology for the F-117 was developed in the 1970s as a capability for attacking high-value targets without being detected by enemy radar. It had up to 5,000 pounds of assorted internal stores, two engines, and could travel up to 684 miles per hour. It was the first airplane designed and built as a low observable, stable, and therefore precise platform, said Yancey Mails, director of the History and Museums Program for Air Force Material Command at Wright-Patterson AFB Ohio, and a former F-117 maintainer. It was the marriage of the GBU-27 to the F-117 that had a laser designator in its nose that made it such a precise, deadly platform, Mails said. It was best demonstrated during Operation Desert Storm when pilots snuck into Iraq and dropped weapons down the elevator shaft of a central communications building in Iraq. The first Nighthawk flew June 18, 1981, and the original F-117A unit, the 4,450th Tactical Group, renamed the 37th Tactical Fighter Wing in October 1989, achieved initial operating capability in October 1983. The Nighthawk originally saw combat during Operation Just Cause in 1989, when two F-117s from the 37th TFW attacked military targets in Panama. The aircraft was also in action during